Hello, in this video I'll show you how to handle nulls with daytime in C sharp. Now daytime is not like string and it's also not like uh, say an integer which you can't really make null at all. So of default value you would have a zero right uh, for an integer. And for a string you could just have a null. Uh, daytime is perhaps a bit more complicated but there are basically uh, two ways to handle in the latest versions of uh, C sharp. The first one is of course just uh, doing something like this. We have daytime called t1 and we have new daytime which will be the default time. So if I were to run it it would just be uh, the default date which may not actually be good enough and it may not be very convenient now essentially you would still be just comparing uh, whether the daytime is equal to that new daytime which means it's a, a basically a null value but there is another way to do it and that is setting the null now you can't just do it like that as you can see if i just set it to null it's going to be an error so you just put a question mark like that and you see now we don't have an error but you still have to use it and we do have a bit of an example here we have t2 has value so once you add that question mark you get more options inside that one variable so you get a couple of properties that is has value and value now you can use value directly without checking for it to have the value uh, it will have a bit of an error if you're actually going to use it uh, so do be somewhat careful of that uh, uh, but it is quite useful uh, you can check if it has value or not that means it's either null or not null so you use this variable and then if it's uh, true then it just prints now uh, just to run it one time just quickly you will see that this has value then it prints but since it doesn't have value it will not print and just take a look at what we have in the data time uh, t1 we just have as you can see basics of uh, default representation of date time which can get confusing especially if you start converting to strings um, and sending them through apis uh, that can cause some issues so uh, a lot of times uh, doing this null arrangement is a lot better but as you can see if we go back here it didn't actually print anything now if i were to assign a date time right here let's delete that let's do date time Let's do UTC now. One advice for dates, of course, always use UTC unless you absolutely have to use the local date. Uh, this is a very good thing to do. So you can see here we have the output uh, outputted like that. Two options, either set the default or use the null. Personally, I prefer the null and you should probably go with that. And of course, when using dates, always go with you to see unless you have to use that local time. Be careful about that and you will save a lot of time. And with that said, we will conclude this video.